Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, December 21st. You'll be interested to know today is National Coquito Day. Coquito is a traditional Puerto Rican holiday drink, which embodies the island's warm and open spirit. Most Puerto Rican families have their own Coquito recipes, passed down from generation to generation. Coquito is often compared to eggnog and is enjoyed as an after-dinner drink or given as a gift and shared among friends and family. While nobody knows the exact origins of the drink and there is no canonical recipe, all versions call for milk, cream of coconut, and Puerto Rican rum. Only four more days until Christmas, folks. Now let's check out the weather in the North County area. This morning, it's mostly cloudy and 58 degrees with 85% humidity. Tonight, the sun will set at 4.46 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.47 a.m. Today is the shortest day of the year. And that's good news because tomorrow we start in getting more and more daylight every day. It looks like we are in for a day of showers and possibly a thunderstorm after 10 a.m., high near 64. South wind 10 to 15 mile per hour with gusts as high as 20 mile per hour. Chance of precipitation is 80%. New rainfall amounts between a quarter and half of an inch possible. Tonight, showers and possibly a thunderstorm. Some of the storms could produce heavy rainfall. Low around 56. Southeast wind 10 to 15 mile per hour with gusts as high as 20 mile per hour. Chance of precipitation is 100%. New rainfall amounts between one and two inches possible. And now the surf report. Get out there early on Thursday as long as there is no lightning. North count is looking good with fair conditions and three to four feet until about 10 a.m. After that, it's looking pretty choppy and size is calming down through Saturday. West-northwest swell peaks in the morning for widespread chest to shoulder high waves at average exposures, while top breaks are running head high and one to two feet overhead. Steady south to southeast wind are a problem for most areas on Thursday. The first low tide today will be just over a half foot at 11.30 a.m. with a 3.4 foot high tide at 5.22 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 62.3 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, a Pacific storm is impacting Southern California. The storm will bring heavy to excessive rain to coastal Southern California today into Friday. Flash and urban flooding will be possible as well as rock slides, mudslides, and debris flows over burn scars. Gusty wind are also expected. The Pacific storm will also bring heavy snow above 7,000 to 8,000 feet in the Southern Sierra Nevada and San Bernardino County mountains. And now a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, This cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in the divine experience of their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. In top news, Mickey Mouse's early version from Steamboat Willie will enter the public domain in 2024, opening possibilities for new uses. However, Disney can still protect his trademark rights, restricting certain uses. While smaller projects might escape Disney's legal action, any portrayal harming Mickey's image could face challenges. This situation mirrors upcoming public domain entries for characters like Batman and Superman, indicating a future rich in creative reinterpretations and potential legal complexities. How could anyone harm Mickey's image? Never. 
Now let's talk tech news. A group of 11 authors, including Pulitzer Prize winners, have joined a lawsuit against OpenAI and Microsoft, alleging copyright infringement. The lawsuit claims these companies used the authors' works to train OpenAI's AI models, including ChatGPT, without permission. The authors seek monetary damages and an injunction against further copyright infringement. Microsoft, which has invested in OpenAI and integrated its systems into its products, is also named in the lawsuit. The case initiated by writer Julian Sancton is among several similar suits filed by authors against tech companies for AI training practices. Both OpenAI and Microsoft have denied the allegations. And in business news, Adobe decided to abandon its $20 billion acquisition of Figma after facing regulatory hurdles from EU and UK authorities. In a podcast interview, Adobe's general counsel, Dana Rowe, explained that they couldn't convince regulators the deal wouldn't harm future competition. The European Commission and the UK's Competition and Markets Authority expressed concerns that the acquisition could significantly reduce competition in digital design software markets. Adobe, noting the challenges of proving future non-competition and seeing the unlikelihood of persuading regulators, chose to stop pursuing the deal. This decision contrasts Microsoft's approach with its Activision Blizzard acquisition, where they continued fighting regulatory concerns. Adobe concluded that the only solution to address potential future competition issues was to not proceed with the acquisition. In crypto, Bitcoin is making a run, up 5%, to over $44,000. Ethereum is at 2,000, $225, $225, and Solana is up 14% to $83. Now on to sports. Tonight, on Thursday Night Football, the Rams are at home, taking on the Saints. Both teams are 7-7 seven and, seven and in the wild card hunt. You can catch the game on Amazon Prime. Last night, the Lakers on the road lost to the Bulls, 124-108. to And the Clippers, also on the road, beat the Mavs 120-111. to Tonight, the Lakers stay on the road against the Timberwolves. And the Clippers stay on the road to take on the Thunder. In national hockey. Last night, the Kings at home lost to the Kraken 2-1. to The Kings are now 18-7-4 and in third place in the Pacific Division. Tonight, the Ducks are at home against the Flames. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio in your area to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in North and South County San Diego. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits, connecting Pilates to enhanced core strength, improved flexibility, and better posture. It's a well-supported avenue for physical and mental health in just a few dedicated sessions. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Salona Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Be sure to tell them Sunny Mornings sent you by. And now back to the show. In local news, San Diego's Midway District is set for transformation with more housing and development after a judge dismissed a lawsuit challenging Measure C. This measure, approved by voters, removes the 30-foot coastal height limit in the area, allowing for larger projects like Midway Rising. This major redevelopment includes over 4,600 residential units, commercial space, and a new arena. The decision resolves legal disputes and opens the door for significant urban renewal, despite concerns about increased traffic and loss of coastal access. The Midway District, near Point Loma, Old Town, Liberty Station, and Mission Bay 
is expected to see accelerated development interest following this ruling. And in entertainment news, A24, known for its art house films, is seemingly shifting towards more commercial projects. This change, driven by financial pressures, might worry fans of its unique, character-driven cinema. Yet the studio's recent moves echo HBO's strategy. High quality, commercially viable, yet still bold and distinctive projects. A24's future might blend prestige with broader appeal, a necessary evolution in today's competitive entertainment landscape. One of the latest A24 films is Sean Durkin's The Iron Claw. They're calling it a poignant tale about the real-life Von Erich family, who are little-known Texas wrestling icons. The film focuses on the family's struggles under the stern patriarch, Fritz Von Erich, whose relentless pursuit of wrestling success takes a toll on his sons. Zac Efron's portrayal of Kevin Von Erich is the film's centerpiece. The Iron Claw premieres in theaters December 22nd. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the thought of the day. And this week, it's all Christmas movie quotes. Today from the movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, he thought, means a little bit more. Wise words. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. Whether you're heading to work, an event, or just enjoying the day, stay safe and enjoy yourself to the fullest. We'll be back tomorrow with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.